Okay, so the last video, we uploaded videos into YouTube. Well, sorry, we opened our Facebook page um, for a bit of a mix of supporting your YouTube channel, but you may actually be running a business or you may be uh, just creating a page for separating it from your day-to-day -day, um, Facebook page, uh, channel, timeline. I don't know, personal account. Um, but anyway, you want to separate it out. Now, somebody's already said, but you don't get that much activity from Facebook users. You get activity, like a YouTube channel. If you only upload 10 videos, you get very little activity. You're actually trying to build a brand, um, which needs to be fed. It's, it's a beast. You need to keep feeding it. Um, but one of the things that... I, this video is covering is how do you get people from Facebook back to your YouTube because obviously you're not getting paid anything on Facebook um, but also you may want to try and keep your content content on YouTube so it doesn't get watered down because if you're getting 50% on YouTube and 50% on Facebook you're reaching not all your subscribers at all this at the same time but this way what I'm about to show you will actually draw them to your YouTube channel um, they'll still go to your Facebook page because it's all interconnected. But the key to this is you don't create two brand new videos for every upload. You create your full blown video and then you create a mini video of about 15 seconds. And I'll show you why in a second. But also, we'll discuss it before we actually make it. So, so here we are on one of my channels uh, this is my visit Valencia La Mata um, but here we go we slide down I've got some nice little pictures of where we live and look these videos auto play if you press click for no more it will actually go to my YouTube channel because it's like a little mini extract saying look what photos and videos we've got come and have a look at our channel come and have a look at the rest of this video and you can send that to a particular video, you can send it to a playlist, you can make more of it. But also bearing in mind, when this is shared, it still recognizes where it comes from. So people can still get back to this page. But this is what happens when you upload from YouTube. Bit bland, isn't it? Doesn't really stand out. But when you go up to here, it automatically plays as you slide down. I'll turn that audio off for now. Automatically plays. And that's it. It's good to go. Just got to watch for your copyright material. As you've seen in there, I didn't put any audio on that at all. But most of the time, people scan through YouTube without actually any audio on, which is another important bit to put uh, subtitles and things on because people don't always see things. Like here, I haven't got any subtitles on this. But it's a similar effect of show it. It's very, very visual. I pick videos that are more visual because you're trying to grab people's attention. With that, with me not speaking, people might actually put the volume on, but I could actually put subtitles on that to make it easier for them. But the idea is you're creating a video of about 15 seconds, which is of one of your bigger videos, one of these ones. And what happens is they click on it and they'll go through to YouTube to see the real video. Um, that way it benefits you as well as Facebook. Facebook's getting all these little pretty videos and they're getting uploaded into Facebook so they like that. But also you're getting the stuff going to your main videos and your main channel so it benefits you as well. So it's a, a two pronged thing. The other key element is you should be sharing these, um, but we'll cover that once we make our video in a minute. Now the funny thing is, some of the stuff that's good for this would normally hit the cutting room floor. Well, if we're actually doing it manually and not digitally. Uh, but this bit here, you'll see I wouldn't normally put this in the video. It's a little bit slow because I'm using an editor on top of recording the screen. But basically what you've got is me in the van and <coughs> the camera swings around to look outside. 
people are nosy. They're naturally nosy. So that's the sort of thing where they're going to go, what's he looking at? And that sort of thing grabs people's attention and pulls them into the YouTube channel. Like I said, you only want it about 15 seconds long. So I want rid of these bits. Let's see how much video I've got left. So that's coming. How many seconds is that? See, it's, I'll be honest with you, I struggle to get these videos to play properly while doing it, recording the screen and doing this, because the, the actual main file is about 3 gigabytes. It's, they're quite large files, um, so it struggles to play them. But let's just save that for now, and we'll mess around with it in YouTube. So now we're ready to upload. So this is what you normally see. Just click Photo Upload. Upload Photos and Videos. I just want to find the right folder. Uh, it's in Documents. Camtasia. I just got it X1. So this will now just upload the file. And I find it's quite slow going uploading on the Facebook, so it will start uploading here. So the first thing we want to do is give it a title. Um, driving through Spain, driving around Spain. Now the other thing is it's a Volkswagen van which seems to get following. So you could actually have my VW van, VW camper in Spain. Something that's a bit more interesting. So you can put VW Camper T4 because it's a transporter for uh, Spain driving, visiting, touring. You get the idea. So it's got a few tags there. And we'll let that upload for a minute. And what I want to do is go over to my YouTube channel. Now, my YouTube channel is split down into different areas, like it's actually under La Marina, Santa Pola, uh, Guatemala, and you see La Mata. They're all different areas. Now, because these are driving videos, I'm actually going to create a new playlist specifically for these videos and then link each one of these into them. Um, so what we're going to do is actually create a new playlist. So just add a new playlist up here, and we're going to call it Driving Through Spain. Volkswagen camper van, Driving Through Spain. And then just create that. Okay, I change it to Driving Around Spain. I'll put a description in here as well. So let's edit that. Come on. Uh, driving through Spain in our Volkswagen Camper T4 visiting towns, villages, cities and all the sightseeing we can find. Just a simple thing like that, I can edit it later. So press enter. And now we want to add some videos, so click add videos. And we just want the ones where they're actually touring around. Your YouTube videos would be a good start. It's, it's quicker to search. This this one isn't too big, so it's not too bad. So we want that one, that one, that one, and that will add all those videos into the new playlist. All right, yeah, it's, it's done it now. So. This is our new playlist. So what we want to do now is actually go to where the playlist is. There we go, the share, share button will be ideal. Share button. Oh. Driving around Spain. I'm showing you all the slow steps on this because you, you'll find it at least you can go, oh, well, that's what he did. And the other thing is this is running stupidly slow because I can't even pause the video there. So I take the link out of the top in the browser. Um, you can't actually see it. Let me scroll. 
pull this link out and then what I want to do is feed that into Facebook I don't want that playing okay that's what I'm uploaded so we go back here it's still uploading call to action this is the button that appears in the middle of the screen so what you do is watch more enter the URL which is that long YouTube link wait for it to decide if it understands it there you go hey that's not the right description let's double check that oh it is actually the reason being it's the first video on the playlist and we go back that is that video see La Marina Valencia but it's got all the other videos in line so as you can see once people click through they're presented with a full list of all your videos so this is why it's very useful to do this I know it's a little bit of a pain a bit of time consuming and the internet's slow but like I said the other thing I'm uploading here as well uh, so you just got to wait for it to finish so you got that going uh, what else have we got you could add your captions closed captions but we aren't actually talking anyway uh, where is it it's going everywhere and we got that we could put a check in I don't know if it knows where La Marina is it knows where I am uh, where's this ah here we go La Marina La Marina Valencia because it'll have more people so you've got a location geographically it knows where it is it's, you can add people in this if the, you want certain people to look at it and pretty much it's added the town we were in so that, that's another bit of information and we just wait for it to upload we'll come back in 10 minutes now you can see here it's adding, asking if you want a custom thumbnail so you can actually upload one so let me go into my thumbnails folder where's my my documents some pictures oh, I don't open everything pictures where's thumbnails thumbnails And I'll put this one. I know it's a little bit plain, but it's just an example because you can actually just drop that in the front. But you can also flick through and decide which one you want to be at the front because it's sort of like snapshots within the video. I might go with that one because that actually looks more interesting than the bland picture of a Volkswagen van. Okay, so it's published. It's now dropped it into this menu at the back. Um, before I had a chance to stop it. Hang on, let's get rid of that crap. Um, there's editors and stuff. You can edit this inside YouTube. Um, let's, in, inside Facebook, sorry. So let's just see if it's running. See, it's automatically loading and running as we were hoping. It's a little bit slow on the internet. But you can edit the post. Let's go in and edit. So you can do your editor there, but everything's fine. We just put everything in there already. So we'll just drop that out. But you can schedule these as well. Um, but as you can see, that video works fine. But I want to share it. So, because you've got to bear in mind, I have multiple channels. This one's very specific to La Mata, but share on a page I manage so let's say I want to share it to where, where we're gonna go with this onto my personal channel share on a page I manage posting as is this actually sharing it posting as and it should send it to that page 
shared on Matt Wilkie, expat, blah, blah, blah. So that's gone to that channel now. But also, because this one's more touristy, I'm going to share this on my own timeline, my personal timeline. I say you don't always want to do this. If you're doing stuff like um, how to fix a car, you may not have many people interested in knowing about it. So in this case, because this is actually traveling around, a lot of people I know actually um, are interested in Spain. It's worth sharing there. But also I'll make it public because a lot of my stuff is private because it's family stuff. So this one I'll go public. And that should be that posted now. And once it's done, what we'll do is we'll load up my page and just see if it's there. Oh, come on. I'm going to have to edit this out now. So we go to my page. Okay, so this is my Facebook channel. And I'll just scroll down. And as you see, it auto plays. Videos here, it's auto playing, and that's exactly what we wanted. So, works a treat. And this is what I'm saying when, when you get these sort of things running, people are going to be interested in what their videos are about. But let's do a click for me. Which I click for more. So the video is playing, and what we should find is it should ask if I want to go and see more videos. So it's got that... Oh, it's gone on to the next video. And if the video fully plays, because one thing I noticed here is if you click through to watch more, it will just open you up onto this one. Um, but it, what it'll do is create a playlist of videos that you've uploaded and then some that may be relevant. I don't know how The Simpsons got in there. <laughs> it's nothing to do with me. Um, but these ones are mine. So it's, it's getting your other videos to play as well. But if you watch the video to the end, so just leave that playing, you will find that it will come up with a link for the playlist. So I click that and now it sends me to my YouTube channel, as you can see. So you can see this is quite useful for sharing your videos because obviously you got it going back to your YouTube channel. You've also got the fact that it's playing all your videos in your playlist for that channel as well. So you're getting more views. Some of these were uploaded yesterday just as a test. This one's had 36. There's another one down here. This one's had 27. So you can see they still there's a fair bit of viewers uh, viewership there. Um, although, like I said, that's only a day and it's not broadly shared. I haven't like been hammering it into social groups or anything, it's just been within my own circles. But you can see, you do get a broader reach that you wouldn't have had otherwise. Because the main sort of thing you're trying to do is actually get people involved with your channel. So, working it around things like Facebook, Twitter and other um, social media out there, you can draw people in. Um, because at the end of the day, you're a service. Whether you like it or not, you're a service. Because one of the things I say is I don't really do this for money, but at the, the same time, you're still providing a service of interest for other people. So you you have to go out your way a little bit. Yeah, I mean, like you've just seen there, that's about nearly 20 minutes of how to do these videos. But I'm sure once you get set up, you'll be knocking these out very quickly because you'll just take the cuttings, the best bits, out of your videos that you're making um, and just insert them like that you know you want to just be bang 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 you want to make it so people visually see it it's got to be intense to the point that they want to follow it straight away because if it's just like this bit of video at the end here I don't think anybody would click through on it because they're not listening to me speaking they're just seeing 
the video of my hands and things moving and not actually seeing anything going on, which is why the visual ones are more important. Thanks for watching.